This is it for this bastard, man. This pale bastard, man. He's going into <laughs> captivity and slavery, right, man. Ain't no coming together, man. Talking about trying to march with us and all that. You can save all that, man. That's what Scripper said. We'll get Joe 14 and 5. So, you know, through the probably how much now shot, we, you know, read a brief summary of who the beast is, mm -hmm. what's his image, what's his mark, and went through the three different, the main prophets who saw the beast, man. Daniel, Ezra, yeah. and John, Revelator. Yeah. Right. right? Scriptures, scriptures flow, man. Yeah. And it's not us, you know. Matter of fact, call that, get Sirach 329. It's not, it's not. And I, I, we guarantee you can't learn this in Bible. You cannot. Oh, Go to any Bible school, they ain't gonna break it down. They don't know what the beast is. Man. Okay? You have a lot of these uh congregations, and like we said, because they look at us, they just finding out America's Babylon, man. They just <laughs> figuring that out, man. Like when you ask Will Cabalon, who is the beast? They can't answer that. Man. A lot of people actually when they read Revelation, actually reading it literally. Yeah. The actual thing is an actual beast yeah. with seven heads and ten horns. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing that there was a different power structures, man. All right, it's, it's described as a beast or a dragon because of um, the way he rules draconian law. Yeah. All right, he's vicious, he's ferocious, man. He crushed all the kingdoms before him. He spake as a dragon, man. All right, go ahead. On um, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verse twenty-nine, the heart of the prudent will understand a parable. And an intensive ear is the desire of a wise man. Intensive ear, listen. You got two ears and one mouth, so you got to listen. All right, and the scripture says what? Read it again. The heart of the prudent will understand a parable. The heart of a prudent, a wise man will understand a parable. Man. That scripture says, get one more. I think it's Sirach 39, 17. The book of Sirach, Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 17. And none say, and, and none may say, what is this? Wherefore is that? For at the time convenient, they shall suck it. Is that Sirach 39? Con. This is 17? <laughs> and none may say, I'm sorry, 16. All the works of the Lord are exceedingly exceeding good, and whatsoever he commandeth shall be accomplished in due season. And none may say, what is this? Wherefore is that? For at the time convenient, they shall be all be sought out. And his commandment, the water stood as in heat, and at the words of his mouth are receptacles of waters. As his commandment is done, whatsoever pleaseth him, and none can hinder when he shall, when he, when he will save. Let me hear verse 1. Khan, please ask us 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High. Yeah, that's it. That's the right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. And is occupied in the meditation thereof. Will seek out of the wisdom of all the ancient. We seeking out the. Yeah, we seeking out. Yeah, we we seeking out the knowledge of the ancients. Yeah, yeah. The ancient prophets, the ancient apostles. Mm -hmm. You see, we seeking out the not being able to break down the deep parables of the dark sayings. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Read again. Gone. Please ask us thirty nine and, and one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out of the seek out the wisdom of all the ancient. So if you're truly a man of the Lord, you will seek out the knowledge of the ancients. All right, seek out these deep parables, man. These dark sayings. What were the prophets talking about? All right, these are the secrets of the Most High that are only revealed to a certain few. Right, because like we said, you go to theologian school, they are not going to go through these scriptures, man. All right. How do you know that? Because most of these pastors have to go to theologian school, man. Most of them, before they start, they have to go where? They have to go to theologian college. Are they deep? No. They can't even break down John 3.16. All right. So you learn absolutely nothing, man. Good. And be occupied and prophesy. You got to be occupied, man. Stay busy in prophecy. Okay, so you got to constantly be looking at, and because why? We in a time of prophecy. We in a time of prophecy constantly manifesting itself. And the main prophecy we was just going into was the mark of the beast. 
right? And before we can break down the mark of the beast, you gotta first understand who the beast is, man. Who is he, man? Right? And the spirit had broke that down, man. Right? And we broke the spirit also broke down who is Marcus. So we don't we can't understand. We're having a hard time trying to comprehend how you guys can't see that, man. How how guys can't That's see right. the mark of the beast, man? Oh. How you can't see that, man? <laughs> what yeah, spell yeah, are you guys under, man? God. What it is is that a lot of them guys sold the hell out, man. Mm -hmm. It's basically what it is, man. Right? Because you know, in times past, you give dudes a pass. You'd be like, well, you know, maybe you can't see it now. It's 2020, man. You're supposed to see everything, man. Yeah. We said that, man. You're supposed to have 2020 vision. You're supposed to see it, man. Or they just puffed up in um, pride, man. Kind. They didn't want to. They didn't want to receive that correction. But all right, that was been a process from GMS is right. A lot of them, just, you know, they just they stubborn, man. Yeah. And, and matter of fact, get that James four six. Kind. And it's not even the, uh, the elders' doctrine. It's Yahweh Shai's doctrine, That's right. man. That's right. It's not. It's, 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 yeah, it's everything is coming from Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the word, man. Kind. Kind. Right, we like, just, let me let me be, um rephrase that. They want to. They puffed up in pride. They don't. They don't want to. Um, See what the heavenly father how about me outside trying to show them. You know, through his through his men. Um James 4 and I'm starting to one. That's what we called it earlier. Study that showed I self approved unto the most high. Not unto men. You gotta show yourself, you gotta prove yourself to him. Alright, go ahead. James 4 and 11? No, nah, 6, let me ask six. James 4 and 6, lock it. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, the most I resisteth, resisteth the proud. He, he resists, man. He fights against the proud. The scripture says, six things I hate and seven are abomination unto me. First one is a proud look. The heavenly father hates a man that's proud. Because you're just a mortal man that's in the flesh. You were designed to go off. So why are you proud? And above all, this was a gift. All right? The most I um, gave you this gift, man. All right. But, um, I should say, grace was saved by faith to the Most High. Um, not of yourselves. It's a so gift like, from the Heavenly Father. All right. This was a present, man. Mm -hmm. So He gave you the gift, man. And you're supposed to remain humble, lowly, because there's parables on what men who ain't humble, who ain't doing what they're supposed to do. He took that talent away and he gave it to another brother. And he cast that servant into utter darkness, man. All right. So you gotta be mindful of that. Read it again. James four and six. But he gives more grace. Wherefore he saith, the Most High resisteth the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. He gives grace, mercy to the humble. Man. All right. Humility goes a long way. This this world don't even teach you that. This world teach you to be proud, man. That's what the majority of these holes, these holes, they're proud, man. Yeah, yeah. You see? They're walking around thinking that they the shit. They're proud, man. Bitches is proud, man. So the most I'm gonna bring a lot of them down, man. Yeah, and they wicked, man. Yeah. I mean, jumping from dude to these women, they wicked, man. A lot of them gonna die horrible these last days, man. Where did this economy crash, man? Mm -hmm. All right? So the scripture says, the Most High resisteth the proud, man. He's not dealing with proud dudes, man. And give grace to the humble. And give grace to the humble. That, yeah. That's what pleases Yahweh by Shemel Shah, humble and contrite. Matter of fact, it, was it Luke 18 and 8? Luke 18 and 8. I tell you, I tell you that Matter of fact, start, up, start a little further up. Okay, come on. Let's, uh, let's start at verse 6. Luke 18 and 6, and the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith, and and shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Mm. Yeah. And he spake this parable unto, unto a certain unto a certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray the one a pharisee and the other a publican yeah one a pharisee one a doctor of the law so you know he was proud as hell good yeah. the pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself the most high and i thank thee that i am not as other men 
are extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as is publican. I face um, um, twice in the in the week. I give um, thanks. Yeah, he said I fast twice in a week. Oh, suck it! I fast twice in the week. Mm -hmm. I give um, uh, tights, yeah, tights of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smoke upon his breast, saying, "The Most High be merciful to me, a sinner." He was more sincere. He was more heartfelt. Have mercy unto me, a sinner, man. Cause you know that publican was committing sins, man. All right. That's when Yahweh Shai came around. They didn't want to hear the word. Not the publican, the okay. Pharisee, man. Because that's when Yahweh Shai came around. A lot of Pharisees were proud, man. They wasn't trying to receive that um that word, man. Because they they trusted in themselves. Yeah, man. Oh, I fast twice in the week. Fast twice, I, I give money to the poor. You know what I mean? Proud, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're supposed to come to the Most High in humility, like yo, I, I messed up. Because you do got sins against you, man. You ain't perfect, man. Right, right. So the, you know the most I what do you how should I say? Uh and the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes into heaven, but smoke upon his breast, saying, Yahweh Bashim Shah be merciful unto me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Yeah, so that guy was proud, man. Spirit God is going everywhere, man. Right. See? So he that humbled himself shall be exalted. That's what we prophesy. The scripture says, the sackcloth, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't coming out here with the. Then can we? Can we come out here with the uh, expensive garments? Tell the brother get the Versace linen and. You know, the, the, and, and we could put studs in all. No, we ain't doing all that shit, man. For what? what we trying to impress, man. Rolexes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Pulling up to camp in a Rolls Royce. Oh, man. Nah, we ain't doing that. Come on, Most man. High, Most High gonna exalt us in due time, little women. Yeah. You, know? you just gotta wait. You just gotta work and be humble. Yeah. She says, wait. Matter of fact, yeah. tell you that first Samuel 2 and 1. Yeah, you know? First Samuel 2 and 1, and Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in Yahweh Shemel Shah. That's Samuel's mother, Dad. Mine horn is exalted in Yahweh Shemel Shah. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord. There is none there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our power. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Mm. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Yeah, he'll weigh those against you. Mm -hmm. you. Can't be proud, man. You know the scripture cutting that pride shit, man. Right? Like the brother's saying, the reason why these guys, so a lot of you guys are just demons anyway, but a lot of guys don't want to take that reproof because they're proud. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's too much for them to say, yeah, I was wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's too much for them to go before the congregation and say, I got it wrong. All right? Because right, they're going to have to actually start teaching it. Once they realize it was wrong and the trip is off, is Mark of the Beast, they got to teach it. Yeah. A lot of people that I follow them were like, well, y'all just saying it was spiritual. Now it's, now it's physical. Because when, when you when you face with it, who people going to run to you? Yeah. See? And the logo require that blood at your hands, man. Right? Yeah, man. A lot of people that's, that's you know, look, watching your videos, following you, learning from you, and you teaching the Mark of the Beast is not the Archie Microchip. They may think to themselves that I gotta take the chip then. If it's not the, if it's not the mark of the beast, I can take it. I'm not gonna burn a fire and brimstone. Then they, that's that blood gonna be in your hands. Yeah, because you're not teaching the severity of it. You cannot take it. No matter how hungry you are, no matter if they torture you, no matter if they torture your family, no matter if, they, if you have a child, they torture your child. You can't take it. Man. You can't take it, no matter what. You saying it's not the mark of the beast? Well, I'm not gonna take it. You still not. That's not knowing the severity of the situation. Because what's the penalty if you do take it? If it's not the mark of the beast, what's the harm in me taking it? Yeah. The, you may personally, I don't want to take it, but if I'm hungry, I'm starving, I'm going to still take it because you just taught us it's not the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> See, this is why you have to explain things thoroughly, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, but a lot, like we said, uh, you know, ulterior motives and pride, man, like we're getting on now. Yeah. Matter of fact, read on. Yeah, it's a good job in the 
All right, <clears throat> reading on down, verse uh, three. Talk sec on First Samuel two and three. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For Yahweh by Hashem is the power of knowledge, and by Him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumbled are girded with strength. They that, they that stumble are girded with strength. I'll tell you that um, in Isaiah fortieth chapter, man. Mm -hmm. You get power to the faint. Man. Yeah, yeah. All right, you just gotta wait on your how about your yeah. male man. See, you gonna renew our strength real soon. Yeah. All right. Just saying, um, is that Proverbs fifteen and thirty three for honor is humility. humility. Yeah. You know, so it may humble man. You know, humility goes into um humiliation because you know you at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You seeing these um wicked jakes. You know they turning up. They living it up right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like a humbling thing. Uh, scriptures talk about the, the foolishness of preaching. Um, the pleases Heavenly Father with the foolishness of preaching, man. Right, a lot of people walking by, probably looking at us like we, you know, we, look, we look foolish, whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, the most I going to exalt us in due time, Lord willing, man. The only thing we got to do is endure, keep faith, man. Continue resting righteous acts and continue doing His work, man. To hell with everyone think, man. You see what I'm saying? Right, these people they don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they, they trusting in the CDC and uh, yeah. the American government, man. People don't know what the hell going on, man. This place is on its way out, man. It's on its way out, man. You know, all the information is out now. People still, still ignorant. Man. See, especially you know everybody ignorant. Jake, Esau, everybody. These people they ignorant. They willingly ignorant. Because, like we said, the information is out. Yeah, the information is out there, man. All right, and, and, all right good, good, Shalom. And Esau, Esau, like we going into um, uh, uh, these these wicked leaders, man. You see, they're wicked because they know they know the RFID chip is a chip, man. But they underneath charters, man. They know it's the market. Yeah, but you're also a pro. They underneath charters. They can't teach it. That's why, matter of fact, read that Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Yeah. Beautiful Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. So we know we've been oppressed. We know that. Okay? Alright? That's why we're mad. But the scripture says, be angry and sin out. That's why we was cursing Jake ass out. I was going out there looting in their own neighborhood like a bunch of idiots, man. Not knowing that your ass still got to go to the same devil to get your food, man. Then not the scripture tell you should I, um, go to your enemy for the one of all things, man? Some of you got sick grandmothers and all that. You're doing destroying pharmaceuticals in the neighborhood, man. Right, which all that happened too because of your, your toxic diet, right? Which, you know, that's another topic for another time. Hey, niggas going to go looting shit in their own neighborhood, man. Getting ramped up on by these... Uh, these are uh, Antifa idiots. These Edomites, um, supremacists, because that's what they are. These are narcos. All right? They don't give a shit about you, man. They coming all the way from Texas and California, Utah. All right? To, 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 um, to, to start shit, man. Because what's Jake's excuse? Oh, oh, this is wartime in 400 years and all that. Man, be quiet, man. Scripture says what? Be angry and sin not, man. So yeah, you could supposed to be angry. Yeah, you supposed to cry out. We supposed to do it the right way, man. Be angry, should not give no place for the devil. Man. Yeah, because imagine we did that. You think we could come out here and keep prophesying? No. Esau will have all kind of charges against us, man. Them guys is teaching other Jakes um, to, to to burn shit down in their neighborhood and look what they doing and this and that. Can't come out here and do the work anymore. The devil won, man. Now he got all kind of charges up on you now, man. Now he's justified. So but long as we remain doing what we're doing, how he going he gonna have to come up with false charges. Because we're keeping it spiritual, man. Alright, read on. And a gift destroyeth the heart. Mm. That's why. Charters. Alright? Stipends. Tax exempt. That's a gift, man. A gift destroyeth the heart or your mind. It perverts the gospel, man. It perverts the good news. This was already a gift. You learn who you are, the name of the Heavenly Father, His Son, the Kingdom of the Most High. 
right? It's not what the Christian church teaches. Everybody going to be hand in hand in hand. Nah, man. Kingdom is power, dominion over your enemies, man. Dashing them to pieces, man. Okay, they have to come to you for on a, one of all things, man. On top of that, the most the, the Yahweh Shai said, I'm gonna give you everlasting life. It's gonna be an everlasting dominion. Age after age after age. As long as the father and son there, we gonna be there, man. Right? Totally in tune with your power. Like, Don't put on lashes, and this quote unquote black and black unity or black and brown unity that y'all trying to have now. In the kingdom, you're gonna have that. Perfect, man. He said, all shall know me from the least to the greatest, man. Total unity amongst the tribes. No jealousy, no envy. Everlasting life. And ultimate power and dominion over our adversaries. All right? And Yahweh Shai going to be there. So, you know, Israel never going to go off. Okay? And and we're going to have access. Um, You know, um, Especially if you're the 144, you're gonna have, you know, the Lord may have some special things reserved. We don't know. Alright? But um your name gonna be in um forever, man. And you're gonna have access to the spiritual realm where the most high is, man. Where the Allah Hayyim is, man. We're gonna have an, an all access pass, man. In a world to come. So who the hell don't want that? Alright? Niggas want a kingdom here. What is here, man? That's where Jason itself for crumbs, man. Yeah, crumbs. Like, what's here? Like, I don't understand. Like, what's here that you niggas is fighting hard body for? But these women that's ready used up. And that's what you niggas want to fucking a two third could get that. So that ain't nothing special, man. What a, a Bugatti? A two third could get that? That's what you niggas want, man. Or you want to live in uh these luxurious um neighborhoods, man? Well, Esau still giving you the side eye, right? You're still not welcome. See? Like you had arm and armory jogging in the neighborhood. They gonna damn shoot the man. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about he looked like he burglarized a home or whatever the case is, man. So man, come on, man. But you guys envy? We gonna have that and then some, right? Yahweh Shai said it best. Was the Psalms the 16th chapter? Read the end of the verse. I think it's verse 11. Now you got me excited. We have to get Psalm 16 and verse 11. Yeah, dude, Jake, 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 Jake is crazy, man. Yeah. Psalm 16 and verse 11. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence of fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. So Yahweh Shai is going to give you pleasures forevermore. Because the kingdom has to come through Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, you get that Luke 22. I think it's this here, verse 30. Luke right? 22, verse 30. Yahweh Shai, I, thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. So the Lord going to give you your heart's desire. Whatever you into, man. In righteousness, of course. If you're into beating people down and torturing these heathens. You're going to have a whole lot of slaves, man. But if you're into a whole lot of women, then you're going you're gonna to have that. Right, if you went to uh, uh, owning um, uh, the precious stones, okay, you may have a planet just full of treasure, man. You may just have a treasure planet, man. Are you hold who you store all your treasures at? Yeah, you know? see, whatever brother's into, man. Okay, you you're gonna have the that. Galaxies, you know, yeah, right? travel the galaxy, search out the, the universe, man. <laughs> Come on, man. You have right to, yeah. Wake up, like, brother. You know, let's go see what's in that galaxy right there. I mean, you can travel there, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah take man. A chariot, ride, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. Come on, man. That's that's beautiful, yeah, right honestly, there. Fly. You might not even need chariots, man. You're gonna be able to just fly there, you know. Just fly, fly. yeah, man. You could chill on the moon, yo, yeah, man. Yeah. We don't know, you know, yeah. the whole thing, man. Lord is going to open everything up, man. Uh, like, um, our great forefather Edris, he had a vision, he's seen, um, those getting crowned and receiving poems poems going to gifts yeah you know different gifts for standing so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah, man. Darn, darn. you see what I'm saying it's even palms um crowns on your heads man and, and and that's palms as gifts man so you like the brother saying you never know what he got in store for you man just continue doing his work darn. you know what I'm saying don't give up you know uh, we, we just might be scratching the surface the kingdom might be a lot we don't know yeah yeah come because the scripture yeah. says eyes have not seen or yeah. ears heard yeah Nobody have seen or even heard how the kingdom is gonna be, man. Kyle, we probably can't even really fathom it. You can't. You know what I'm saying? 
Like that's, we just throwing up little, yeah. you know, that's that's that's, that's up in our mind. Once, yeah. once it actually come, we were like, whoa, like, I yeah. didn't expect this, yeah. you know, it's beautiful. Because it says your labor is light compared to your reward. This is light, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's um, Romans 18, Romans 8 and 18 says, um, the servants of the present time cannot be, is not worthy to be compared to the glory that's going to be revealed in us, man. Right, the, the joy that's coming, everlasting life, immortality, peace, you know, at rest, most of solving all our problems. You know what I'm saying? Like everything we going through in this present time, we're not, we're not going to think about it, man. Mm -hmm. We're not going to think about, you know, we used to pay bills. Oh man, I used to, you know, wake up and have back problems. You're not going to think about none of that, man. Right? We're gonna, it's going to be glorious, man. Come on, come on. Everlasting, man. Everlasting glory, man. Um, so you can't even fathom that. You can't even fathom living forever. Yeah. Like, I don't even. You can't even. You can't because you're just a mortal being. Yeah. You can't fathom being here one million years from now, man. You can't fathom that, man. And that's only reserved for us, man. That's not reserved for the heathens, man. They're not gonna know how that feel like, man. You right? Go ahead. Luke 22, I'm sorry, verse 28. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. Yeah, and and that's trickle down to the 144. Right, because you also be in the Lord's cross before, before he come back. Yeah. Which our cross was like compared to Yahweh Shai. Right? Our cross is like, man. His burden is like. He said that. Uh -huh. Alright, go ahead. Um, verse 29. And I appoint you, and I point unto you a kingdom as my father have appointed unto me. I appoint to you a kingdom. Alright? I appoint to you a kingdom, man. That's what it's about. It's about the kingdom, man. Why do you think the disciples were so anxious when the Lord came back? They said, Lord, will now this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Like we tired of this oppression under the Romans, man. The fourth beast, man. All right. Go ahead. Verse 30. That ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of israel and would show you man so we still gonna be eating and we're gonna have the best of both worlds in the world to come like the mortal body you know you can uh, eat drink you know what i'm saying uh, still gonna be procreating right but you're gonna have the best of the celestial too yeah you're gonna be able to live forever yeah you won't be able to harm superhuman bodies man yeah see that's what that upgraded body, man. That body is waiting for us, man. Just got to endure, man. Go ahead. That's it on that. I think that's it on that, right? Yes. So, you know, I think, you know, we hit everything, man. Uh, the Pavi, how about Shimei Al Shah? Yeah, uh, quick preset. Yeah, bring it up. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. The things which Yahweh by Shem Shah has prepared for them that love him. So it's gonna be the biggest surprise, man. Because I remember they did a study. Esau did a study, man. He said Esau said that there's billions of galaxies. And Esau said within this galaxy there's billions of planets. There's a numerous amount of planets. So that means in the kingdom, man, you're gonna have a a lifetime of just searching things out, man. Things gonna be newly created, man. Hell, the, the Lord may give you the keys, um, just like He did the Allahim in the beginning, which that's through the Elector anyway. Um, the keys to creation, because it wasn't the first spiritual Yahweh Shah that created everything. So the kingdom of heaven, that's gonna continue too, man. First fruits, the first fruits, continue creating, man. Right? And everything, everything is gonna be. Everything is going to be shaped to your liking, man. But I like this brother may not, or vice versa. Man. Everything going to be shaped. The crown that Yahweh Shai is going to give you is going to be specialized to your liking, man. You, you might like more Jasper. Now, brother may like more um, Sapphire. Brother may want more gold in his. Brother may want more black opal. Right? More carbonacle. Whatever the case is, these precious stones is going to be to your liking, man. Right? Everything is going to be fashioned for you, man. Yeah. Like uh, Eddie Murphy in a uh, movie. Um, uh, Coming to America? Yeah, she, he said, what do you like? She's like, whatever you like. So he said, what you? She's like, whatever you like. Whatever you like, man. That's the kingdom. Whatever you like, man. 
All right? Whatever we like, man. It's going to be, man. That's in store for us, man. That's in reserve. I, th I think there's one more precept we may close. 2 Corinthians 4, I think 16. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Go ahead. For our light affliction. So this is light. This is light. You know, we complain a lot sometimes. But the Lord is like, man, come on, man. This is light, man. All right? This is nothing to complain about, man. Go ahead. Which is but for a moment. Working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. He says eternal weight. Forever. This glory is forever. This crown is forever. The scripture says that incorruptible crown. See what these celebrities got? That's a corruptible crown, man. Mm -hmm. Right? And they have to give their soul away in order to get that. So was that worth it? No. Was it worth it, man? So we working for that incorruptible crown, man, and that eternal weight of glory, man. right? That eternal weight of honor, man, prestige, man, preeminence. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Verse 18, while we look not at the things which are seen. So what's seen in America? Babylon, Esau's kingdom, mm -hmm. right? This is seen, right? We're not looking at this, man. Right? And it takes a man of faith to even because yeah. most people can't see past America. Huh. Oh, America! To, oh, 50 years from now we're gonna be doing this. What are you talking about, man? Right? 50 years from now, all these people here that's not Israelites are gonna be in chains. Con. Okay. Hardcore bondage, man. Mm -hmm. 50 years from now, America's gonna be a no man's land. Yeah. The no-fly zone. The biggest desert. The biggest desert. Man. Like right. with Komodo dragons and stuff like that. Yeah, owls and yeah. vultures. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna be here, man. Nothing else. We gonna be able to fly over with the chariots. Mm -hmm. We not gonna land here. This place gonna be forbidden, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Kingdom of the Most High, man. He's eternal. Right. And that's what the Lord Yahweh Shai said. Father gave me the kingdom and I want to give you guys the kingdom, man. Yahweh Shai, the Father want to give you the kingdom, man. And we just got to wait and endure. So with um, that, we we'll close it out. We're going to say, Call Halal Yahweh Yahweh Ba Hashim Yahweh Also give a dumb honor to the elders of GMS. Honor to the Akim. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters. Listen, the church of the, the hopeful elect, man. The church of the firstborn. And you know, um, keep believing, man. Keep fighting, man. All right? Keep praying, man. Fasting. So now, yeah, fasting, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And remain diligent and vigilant. Yeah. All right? Constantly keep watching and praying. And don't get caught up into the ways of this world, man. All right? Because the ways of this world is on its way out. With that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.